and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be my May TBR uh, or to be read list. I have a stack of books here and there are some repeats from the previous month that I've just piled onto this month, but there are of course new books that I plan to read this May month. Let's cover the books that I meant to read last month, but didn't get a chance to. Now the month isn't over, but I'm calling it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to get to these books. So the first one is The Hobbit by um, J.R. Tolkien. I am very excited to get to this. And when I kind of got to the end of this month, April, I was debating on if this was the book I wanted to start or a different one. And I decided not to start this one because I don't want to rush through it. And I knew whatever book I picked, I was going to be rushing, not in a bad sense, but I didn't want to just linger with it. So, which is what I want to do with this book. So, The Hobbit, back on the list. I also didn't get to We Hunt the Flame, which means I didn't get to the second book to the duology. This book is about two main characters, Nefir, Nasir, and Zephira. And it looks like they're both reluctant hero type people. And they're both on a quest separately to get this artifact. And I believe they are going to be like the reasoning behind getting it is different for each of them and the way that they're getting it is different. But um, I am, it's a fantasy novel. I love fantasy. I think it's a bit of a quest, which is my preferred, or I don't want, not preferred, but favorite style of fantasy novel. And yeah, I mean, I love the cover. I love the book, love the book. I love the aesthetic of the book. So that is We Hunt the Flame by Hoxa Faisal. I didn't get a synopsis for The Hobbit, but I feel like everyone knows what that's about. Bilbo Baggins finds a ring. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last book that I didn't get to last month was The Girl in the Tower. This is uh, by Catherine Arden. This is the second book in the Winter Night. I always mess that up. What the, like the series is Winter something, Winter Fell, Winter Night. Winter Night Trilogy. The first one follows Vasya from like young age to cusp, cusp of adulthood, I believe. And her father is like the chieftain of their village and the king ruler uh he's like trying to stamp out the old religion so there is this priest that is sent to their town and he's trying to like convert everyone and it what's happening is people are then not worshiping or paying attention to the spirits and the spirits are really what help everyone survive the harsh winters. So it's a lot of conversation on religion in the historical setting. But of course, it's a fantasy novel. And I believe she it's been a while since I read the first one. Um, so I can't really like talk to what this one's gonna be about. I mean, I can read the back, but that might ruin the first one. But yeah, Girl in the Tower, Catherine Arden. Next up is Siege and Storm. So this is the second book in the Grishaverse, Grisha trilogy. And the first one is Shadow and Bone. I did watch the first episode of the Shadow and Bone um, Netflix ad adaptation. And I decided to not continue because I felt like it was going to ruin things from the Six of Crows duology. It's a bit of a prequel 
but like I'm being introduced to characters that I wasn't going to be introduced to for a while. So I really want to make headway on reading the series and getting through at least the first Six of Crows book before I can continue with the TV show. So here it is. Here's me trying to do that. This one is um, definitely a bit longer than the Shadow and Bone book. There's def there's like quite a bit of extra material here. So 435 pages. Um, Shadow and Bone is about Alina and Mal. Alina is a cartographer. She draws maps and Mal is a tracker. And there is something called the fold, which separates two or separates kingdoms. And the fold is like this pitch black, not a crack in the earth, but a scary place where people just die a lot because of the monsters that live in the fold or that were created in the fold or what have you. And they cross into the fold and something occurs. I can't remember if that's even talked about in the synopsis of the first one, so I don't want to ruin it if it's not. Um, it is on also like all the commercials for Shadow and Bone, so I don't know if it's really spoiling it. But anyway, something happens. Alina then goes to the Grisha school world. The third one was okay. It was it's definitely like a standard YA novel. Um, and so I'm excited to continue and hopefully, um, really start to love the series. The last physical book I plan to read is a library book because I went to the library and it felt amazing. And it is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. I have been meaning to get into the series. They've now moved on to Mary. So I'm very, I'm like so excited for this. And this is the first one, My Plain Jane. It's a retelling of Jane Eyre, but it's like a very, very loose retelling. I have heard it's so funny that it's um, like modern take. And then the series, there's three Janes. So there's the plain Jane, which is Jane Eyre. Then there is, um, the another one that's Jane Grey and then the last one is Calamity Jane and then with Anne I'm not sure what the first Anne is I'm assuming it's another royal so it's either well there's so many Anne's right but prop maybe Anne Boleyn we'll see also this I'm pretty sure is supernatural because it says right on the cover she sees dead people I'm ready. I feel like I'm going to breeze through this book, which always a goal so that I can stay on top of my Goodreads goal. So then I have a few digital books. Um, so I'll pop a picture up here. First one is Mistletoe and Mr. Wright. Um, I'll, the authors will be here. Uh, I didn't write the author's names down, so now I don't remember. This is the second in, I think it's a trilogy, uh, Moose Springs. Um, the first one was about uh, our main character who all her like life goal was to go to Alaska. So she goes on this trip to Alaska. Things keep going wrong, but she just makes the best of it. So, um, you know, she does all the classic touristy things she's staying at this really fancy resort with her friend. Her friend is very, very wealthy and that is how she can afford to stay at the fancy resorts. She meets a local and the local basically falls in love with her, but she's not from there. So what happens? Oh, I, I wonder what happens in a romance book, but I really liked it. Uh, it's definitely not like a steamy romance, but uh, I, I thought it was really well and it got it kept me entertained um I really really liked it so I'm very excited to read the second one 
judging by the title, it's a Christmas book, but that doesn't bother me. I read holiday books at any time. Doesn't bother, like, doesn't matter to me. Next one is No Offense by Meg Cabot. I've always liked Meg Cabot. Meg Cabot's books are just so easy to read. I, to me, it's the quintessential chiclet that I actually enjoy. Um, this one is her Little Bridges series. I got the first one as a, an arc, really enjoyed it. And I was supposed to get this one as an arc as well. And it, with COVID, it never arrived, it never appeared. So unfortunately, I never got the chance to read this one. So I'm getting to it now. The first book was about uh, the small island town down in the Florida Keys and a hurricane is about to appear. And so our main character doesn't evacuate the island and instead is trying to rescue all of the abandoned pets that are there. So the second, so this one, no offense, set in the same place, but with different characters. And really that's all I know about it. And then lastly, Daughter of Deep Silence is the audiobook that I decided to go with for this month. And I don't know anything about it. I think it's historical fiction. I don't know. There is a girl on the cover. It might be a mystery. Can't really tell you. And I really don't plan on looking up what this book is about because that's the kind of mood I'm in with my audiobook. I just picked something at random because I like the cover. And that's it. Those are the books that I plan to read in the month of May. If you're planning to read any of these books or you have read any of these books, let me know down there. Uh, I would love to talk about them. Book chat is one of my favorite things. I like book chat even more than I like knitting chat. Thanks so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!